Welcome everyone to our virtual Purple Museum's live stream as we celebrate Ichiro, a life-size dinosaur statue uh, in front of Children's Discovery Museum. And we are excited to have artist Marianela Fuentes joining us today from Mexico City to talk about her beautiful art installation, Ichiro Sacred Beings. Bienvenidos, welcome Marianela. Thank you, Jessica. Such a pleasure to be here. And we're really excited that you're here. Uh, Marianela is joining us from Mexico City, as I said, and this is live. So we never know what's gonna happen with technology, but we sure are glad that you're here joining <laughs> us today. <laughs> so we wanna say hello to the people mm -hmm. that are joining us. Why don't you say hello in the comments and tell us where you're joining from um, so we can say hello to you as well. We have people joining us from Facebook and YouTube. So feel free to type in the comments and let us know um, if you have any questions along the way or just to let us know that where you're coming from. Our Virtual Purple Museum's broadcast this week is on the theme of bones in anticipation of both Halloween and the other Los Muertos. Um, so we are really excited to talk about Ichiro um, and celebrate this beautiful uh, sculpture that we've had here. But a little bit more first about our guest, Marianela Fuentes, uh, who creates thought-provoking artwork that investigates patterns and forms as a way to educate, inspire, and awaken new paths of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. With a background in the study of psychology and visual arts, Marianela uses different types of meditation practices in her creative process. So Marianela, tell us what inspires you to make art. <sighs> Everything, the beauty and magic of the world. Um, I can imagine myself doing something else but art. I do believe it's one of the most important things for humans to be surrounded by any form of art. It gives us life and, and joy. Yes, beautiful. Life and joy. Uh, it really is inspiring for me to observe and enjoy other artists' work as well. Um, tell us how you became an artist. What inspired you and how you became an artist and what you started doing? Um, yeah, um, I start to become, well, I think all kids are artists. Mm -hmm. And when I was seven, I remember I started to do Uh, my mother keep them and she showed me years after I was like, wow, uh, I didn't remember, but <laughs> yeah. And then I always feel very inspired by, by, by sculpture, um, architecture and paintings, dance. So yeah, when I grow up, um, after I finished my psychology studies, mm -hmm. I thought, well, I think I I want to start doing um, sculptures, and it is how I start. I just decide to do it, and, and yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about a little bit about Ichiro and um, tell us about Ichiro and what it is all about. Okay. Yes, Ichiro is an altar to the ancient times. It tells us about the past and the present. Uh, the dinosaur represents the past and all the visions and, and different forms of the symbols of the animals, the star, the corn, the moon, the, the deer, all these represent the present and the visions of this beautiful culture from the north of Mexico, the witch holes. Um, that's beautiful. Uh, so Ichiro is, as you said, from northern Mexico. What type and kind of uh, dinosaur is Ichiro? And why did you choose this dinosaur? Okay. Uh, Ichiro is a replica of Abela from Squawilensis. That's um, a dinosaur that was found in the 95 in the north of Mexico, in Coahuila, where I came from. Uh, and I was working for, for the, a museum, a paleontology museum in the north. So I went to the expedition and I remember since I saw the bones, I was so fascinated by this being. And years after, I just had the vision to create 
art um, with the form of this beautiful dinosaur. Mm. And also I just, I was thinking in the beginning, oh, I want to do the painting over the skin of Ichiro, but then I find out that it would be better to put the beadwork, which um, it has much more detail. There's a lot of beautiful detail. Um, I'm going to show some some drawings, um, early drawings, I think, right, of uh, Ichiro um, and uh, information here. Um, so we have this drawing uh, and then the next one. Uh, so we know that the Vela Franz Coahuilense, se dice? Yes. Lived about 72 million years ago. And as you said, it's in northern Mexico and it's the same land that's now inhabited by the Huichol in the desert. Um, so we know that that is a very special combination of uh, Ichiro being from this area and the Huichol art from this area as well. Um, tell us how you um, made Ichiro. What did you do to make Ichiro? Um, well, Ichiro, first from the real bones, we make the cast. And the cast is made of uh, resin fiberglass. Mm -hmm. And then we put a uh, steel sole. And when we finish the bones, we put an epoxy and all the beadwork. And the beadwork is, is made one by one uh, with the help of, of a family of this tribe, the witch holes. Um, so it has millions of bits on, on the skin. Yeah. So we're going to show some more photos then. These are um, your drawings of the head, right, of Ichiro. Um, where you show the different patterns and how detailed they can be. And then we're going to do the photo of the finished product. So beautiful with all of the beadwork. And that's sort of the top side of the head. Um, and we know it's a vela fronds because that means that it's a sail, right? The sail on the top of the head. They call that mm -hmm. the vela fronds. Um, and then here's another drawing from the top down of the head of Ichiro and then with the beadwork there. Um, just mm -hmm. beautiful. Uh, and we are going to talk a little bit about the Huichol symbols that you put in the uh, Ichiro's head and body as well, right? Can you talk a little bit about yes. some of the symbols that you used? Yes. Um, for the Huichols, the main deity is the deer. Um, from the deer, they, they have a, a different cosmology. One of the most important symbols, as I say, is the deer, the eagle with the two heads, the wolf, uh, the moon and the sun, uh, the sun that they call it Tao, Katewari, which is the fire, uh, the hummingbird, the butterfly, and the shaman. And I try to put all these symbols because for me, it represents the magic of life. And we all love these animals, so why not to express mm -hmm. um, the skin of Ichiro? Yes, that's so beautiful. Um, we have a few more uh, photos of some of the detail to create these beautiful designs. And the, um, the beads are, in um, Spanish, they're called... Um, ¿Cómo se llama? Shakira. Shakira. And in mm -hmm. English, they're known as seed beads. So they're tiny, tiny little beads. And you can see that they're stacked up right on that. Um, is that a wire or a, that he that they're holding the beads on to lay them? Uh, it's with a very thin uh, piece of metal. Mm -hmm. and it's like, uh, yeah, you use this piece of metal and you take one by one of the beads. With the epoxy, you put one by one. So um, what I did is I draw in, um, on the bones first, there's some of the symbols, and uh -huh. then um, this this uh, well, this family of which also they helped me to do all the bead work. That's beautiful. And then here's a detail of uh, more of that work. So if you can really see all the beauty and the detail of that here, um, just a lot of a lot of work. 
Uh, so it's just gorgeous. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about the installation here in, at, in San Jose at the Children's Discovery Museum. Uh, Ichiro Sacred Beings is the seventh artwork to be installed as part of the Playa de Paseo partnership between the Office of Cultural Affairs and the Burning Man Project. So we're going to look at one more photo. Um, this is of Ichiro at Burning Man. I think, is this the first public uh, exhibit of Ichiro at Burning Man? Or was Ichiro somewhere else as well? Yes, uh, Ichiro was exhibited first. Um, well, the first stop, it was in Burning Man. And mm -hmm. I never imagined that it would be that big because um, I remember very clearly the first time when we finished the installation in Burning Man and everybody was fascinated by the work because <laughs> Mostly of the assistants are non-Mexicans, so they don't know this ah. type of, of artwork. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, from there, um, some people invite us to go to Washington DC for a festival called Catharsis on the Mall. It was mm -hmm. the second stop of Ichiro. And then from there, Sebi Medina, he took us to the Eaton Hotel the rooftop it was super beautiful to to be there as well an amazing experience and from there we went to we went to san jose california beautiful so we're going to actually show we have this very fun time lapse of ichiro being installed here at children's discovery museum so let's take a look at that video <laughs> that was such a long day for everybody. I know you started in the morning, as you can tell by the time lapse. It ended when it was dark, um, but it was yes. just beautiful to see everything come up and being installed. Um, what do you remember about that day, Marianella? I think you drove from Washington, D.C., right, a few days before. Yes. We drive from Washington DC. It it was it took us four days. It was super beautiful. I never did a road trip um, in the United States. So mm -hmm. so beautiful. I was astonished by the beauty. Mm -hmm. And then when we disinstall when we installed Ichiro, uh, I remember it was super cold in San Jose uh, for me because I'm Mexican and. And I was wearing so much clothes and all my friends were like, no, it's not that cold. It was super funny to see that. Uh, and I was very happy to to find such an amazing people that help us during the during the road trip and in the installation as well. Like uh, Emily, Joe, they were very supportive always. Everybody in the museum, yes. Mm -hmm. And you, Jessica, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. It was, it was a pleasure to be a part of it. Um, but I didn't do all the heavy lifting like you did. It was beautiful. So we're <laughs> going to show a couple of pictures then from Ichiro at uh, Children's Discovery Museum. And um, this is uh, one of the first beautiful images that we have where you can see the, you know, the beautiful motion of the head and the all of the bones. Um, and then we also have, this was a, a beautiful article uh, in the San Jose Mercury News, our local newspaper, that showed a number of photos of the installation, but also of, see all the children and families in the background. So even though, you know, because of COVID-19, we had to close in March, um, we did have a whole month of 
different school groups visiting. So hundreds and hundreds of school children were able to see Ichiro in front of the museum during their visits and families that came to visit as well. So we're really thrilled that we were able to share that with so many school groups and families that came in. We are open again, and so if people have been able to see Chido um, in this time that we've been open, um, but it's outdoors, so people have been, who have been enjoying the park um, have also been able to see Chido. So we're really excited about that. This is another beautiful image against the Purple Museum, uh, and this was during our Lunar New Year celebration back in February. And the stunning pictures of Ichiro at night, These there are some beautiful lights that change color and at nighttime just provide this beautiful image of Ichiro. And it's almost as if Ichiro is breathing as the light colors change um, through the night. So this there's one and here's another. Oh, that was the last one of the night one, but it's such a beautiful image of Ichiro. Um, and we're really excited that uh, Ichido was here for so long. We're sad that Ichido will be leaving us soon. You're going to be flying in tonight, correct? Uh, to yes, I'm flying tonight to San Jose. And tomorrow mm -hmm. we will start the desinstallation of Ichido, unfortunately. Uh, but I really hope sad. I can bring another dinosaur anytime soon. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and we'd love to welcome a, a sibling of Ichido. That will be beautiful. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do right now, Marianella, is I'm going to share um, some activities that our visual arts program developer, Heidi uh, Lubin, created that was inspired by Ichido. So we're going to show some clips from a, an activity that is the Ichido Dinosaur Head Art Activity. So we'll take a look at that right now. Here's Ichiro, the beautiful dinosaur sculpture visiting us until November at the museum. Here's first a photo of Ichiro as a sculpture. Ichiro was created by artist Marianela Fuentes, and the intricate beadwork was created by artist Sara Garil, a huichol artist. Both artists are from Mexico, where the type of dinosaur Ichiro is also from. Now let's take a look at Ichiro's head. Look at that! Such an interesting shape. And look at all of those beads. What kind of shapes do you see? What colors do you see? I'll zoom in and see. Look at all of those colors. Those are actually beads creating shape and color. And here's a picture of the artist, Sarah, putting all of those beads on Ichido's body, including his head. Do you see that she's holding up a string of beads that she's slowly placing on Ichido? So this is a sketch done by Marianella, the artist, of Ichido's head. You notice that she uses really interesting shapes and line. Let's take a look closer to see what she drew. What kind of shapes do you see? I see squares, circles, triangles, shapes that make animals, even a star. So if we were to study the shapes of Marianella's drawing, you see the big, thick black outline going around the drawing and then the different shapes on the inside. So think about this when you do your drawing. Okay, everybody, this is the first step in drawing a simple dinosaur head. So you'll see that there's a curvy line that doesn't quite close, right? You can study the shape Draw really large on your paper and slowly look at the line and draw what you see. Now, if you want to take this time to draw your own shape of dinosaur head, you can do that. Okay, everybody, the second step is continuing that line, nice curvy line you drew and continuing with another curved line 
that leads to kind of a diagonal line right underneath the nose of the dinosaur. Now the third step is continuing that line you just drew and you're going to continue it all the way until you finish and close the shape of the head. So it can look something like this. If yours looks different, no problem. All we're doing is just starting with a shape of a dinosaur head. Next, we're going to draw an oval. Now this could either become the eye of your dinosaur or it could become the space. You know, there's that kind of open space above Ichido's eye. That's your choice. Now you're going to draw another oval around that first oval you drew. Now you're going to draw another long oval shape under those two ovals you drew at the top of its head. And below that, you're going to draw kind of a teardrop shape under that oval. All right, everybody got it? Everybody, are you ready now with your simple drawing of a dinosaur head? How did yours turn out? Did you make something different than an Ichiro head? Here's mine. Now, the next step is, do you remember all those beautiful designs and shapes on Ichido's head? What you're gonna do is figure out which shapes you wanna draw now. You can draw them anywhere on the dinosaur head. I think I'm gonna start with a circle. I'm gonna start right down his nose so you can fill your entire dinosaur head with shapes like I'm doing triangles triangles down below on his jaw and another circle over here some semicircles here and you can draw whatever you like these are just some ideas more semicircles and you can take your time after this lesson to continue all right you ready for the next step so do you remember Ichiro's beautiful head with all that beautiful beadwork and colors. What you're going to do now is take your markers, your colorful markers, and do similar designs. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, for this next step, you're going to need your color markers. I've got orange, red, and purple. So what we're going to do is create by our mar very colorful markers designs just like the beadwork on Ichiro's head. So let me show you an example. I'm going to take my orange marker and I'm going to put a bunch of dots in the shapes I drew. You can see, I'm just holding the marker and putting, putting dots directly on the paper. So you push down and lift up, push down and lift up. You see? So you can continue to do this until you've filled up all of your shapes. I'm using my purple marker and I'm carefully going around the shape. I started with purple, but I think it'll be cool to also put another layer of dots in red. Now this is something that's gonna take a lot of time, just like the artist Sarah, her beadwork took many, many, many hours. So you can take your time on this and carefully continue to go inside each shape with your markers. All right, 
And you can continue to fill every shape in your drawing until you're done. And I'm gonna take my time later to do this, but I wanna show you the next step so you can get started on it. And then you can get back to your dinosaur head. We're going to cut out the dinosaur head we made with our scissors. Your dinosaur head. What we're going to do next is take our colorful piece of paper and we're going to glue it on our colorful piece of paper. Very fun. Uh, that was one of three different uh, Ichido inspired art activities that Heidi created. I'm going to put a link in the chat if anybody's interested in uh, doing some more art activities that were Ichido inspired. Um, visit our page on our website, our Goodbye Ichido page, for some more inspired uh, artwork. Um, so as we're closing, Marianella, what uh, is your advice for children who would uh, who want to become artists? What would you tell them? I think being an artist is one of the most beautiful professions that exist. And as I say before, every child is an artist. And yeah, imagine working in something that you love to do. And, and yeah, expanding yourself and inspiring the hearts of people with your creativity. I think uh, to being an artist is a, a wonderful profession. So if, if anybody wants to be an artist, do it. Yes. We need more and artists in the world. We do need more artists in the world. Um, and uh, why is art important to you? Um, I think art is what you make others to see. Art has the power to transform, to illuminate, to educate and inspire. That's why art is so important to me. It brings art. beauty and joy. It does bring beauty and joy. And I actually want to share a comment from our San Jose Office of Cultural Affairs um, uh, about how much fun uh, this art has been, this exhibit has been, um, as we said, we are saying goodbye to Ichido, sacred beings. Uh, we've been so fortunate to have this beautiful artwork outside of the Children's Discovery Museum. This weekend, Marianella and her team will be um, moving Ichido and um, moving, getting, preparing Ichido for the next visit, correct? And I believe the next location is somewhere not too far from us. Is that correct? Yes, in the same more, city. <laughs> in the same city, more details to come later. Um, so thank you. Oh, thank you, um, the Office of Cultural Affairs. Um, we want to thank you for joining us today. Uh, thank you, Marianella, for being here, live stream from Mexico City to celebrate Ichido. Uh, and you will be here this weekend if you want to see some of the deinstallation. And we want to thank everyone who supported the installation of Ichido Beings from uh, Washington, D.C., the trip that came over, the team that was here, um, everybody who's been supporting this beautiful artwork all along. Um, and of course, a great big thank you to the Office of Cultural Affairs. Um, our arts programming is supported in part by a grant from the Office of Cultural Affairs. So we want to give you a big thanks as well for supporting the arts for us here in San Jose. So thank you all for joining us. And um, Marianella, do you want to say anything else as we say goodbye? Uh, I hope every, anybody can come to see the S installation. It's going to be so much fun. And see you soon. See you soon. And thank you again.
Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>